Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Zara and I'm a part of Heritage Livestock Canada, an organization devoted to the preservation of rare and heritage breed livestock. Because believe it or not, they're endangered animals that I bet you've never even heard of. So my goal in this video series is to open your eyes to a whole new category of disappearing animals. In today's video, I'll be covering the Suffolk Punch Horse. Unfortunately, I don't have a Suffolk Punch with me. However, there will be plenty of pictures and another junior member of Heritage Livestock Canada sent in a short clip of him and his team of horses. I'd also like to thank Jai Chipperzak for sponsoring my windscreen, as well as Krista from Clearview Stock Farms for all her help in this video. Back to the horse. The Suffolk Punch horse can be one of seven different recognized shades of chestnut and can have a bit of white on their foreheads. The Suffolk Punch is also a draft breed, meaning they are workhorses used to pull heavy loads around the farm. The height of a horse is measured in hands, and one hand is equal to about 4 inches. The average height of a Suffolk Punch horse is 16.1 hands, however, some stallions may stand up to 17 hands or more. Some of the best known breeds of draft horses today are said to date back to the war horses of medieval times. Around the same time, English farmers were developing their own breed of draft horse, the Suffolk Punch. These farmers put their horses to work around the farm, so they didn't usually have any to sell. This is one of the reasons why this horse isn't very well known, but it also helped preserve the breed. The Suffolk Punch is also one of the oldest in existence, with records dating back to the 18th century. Today, it's still recognized for being the farmer's horse. It was all those years ago. These horses have a great work ethic and are said to be calm and good around kids. They're healthy, powerful, and easy to work with. People often think horses are ruminants like the four stomached cows, but they only have one digestive compartment which makes it slightly closer to our digestive system. Their diets can consist of hay, mixed grains, salt and minerals, and of course they love to graze. Horses can also drink between 5 to 10 gallons, give or take, of water per day. Equine eyes are eight times larger than human eyes and also have superior night vision. Horses have a 350 degree view, which is almost four times bigger than the range we see. Human vision is limited to around 45 degrees on either side of our nose. However, a horse's ability to see fine detail is worse. Horses also have two blind spots, directly behind them, obviously, but also directly in front of them. This means horses can't see the grass they graze or the carrots we offer them. They use the whiskers around their mouths to sense these objects. The status of the Suffolk Punch horse is critical, mainly because this breed was hit hard by mechanization after World War II. As draft horses, they were more and more often replaced by machines. Their numbers have grown, but their status clearly shows not enough. The Suffolk Punch is still internationally rare today. This breed is in trouble and needs our help. People all over the world are doing what they can to help the Suffolk Punch, and you can too. You don't need 100 acres or any acres at all to help this horse. Consider making a donation to Heritage Livestock Canada, where solving problems like this one are always on their mind. Keep up with the development of your favorite rare breeds by subscribing to Heritage Livestock Canada's magazine. And please let us know we have your support by Suffolk punching that like button below and subscribing to this channel. I hope these videos inspire you to make a difference whenever you can. Interested in finding out more? Check out our website. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.